Today I want to show you how to diagnose your distributorless ignition systems on your GM or General Motors engines. This engine right here is a 3300 V6 or 3.3 liter, similar to the 3800 V6 or 3.8 liter. And on this engine there's three coil packs, and one coil pack fires two cylinders, two, four, six. One coil pack fires two cylinders, one, two, three, two, four, six. And what you do to diagnose a misfire is, uh, is you disconnect the spark plug wire boots from the coil packs like this. You just pop them off one each and just let them rest. Don't pop them off all at once, one each. Pop it off, let it rest. Pop it off, let it rest. And you do that to all the wire boots on the ignition coils. Uh, when you get done popping them off and letting them rest, you just tap them down with your finger one each like this to make sure all the boots are seated and with the engine idling you uh, pop off each wire boot from the coil packs to see if there's any sparking or clicking if you got any sparking or clicking that means you got a, a fresh uh, coil or a non-dead coil or a good coil pop it off let it rest and you do that to all the coil wires to make sure they're all sparking and uh, clicking and I'll give you a demonstration you lift off each boot from the coil pack like this you hear it clicking that means uh, the coil is firing and you just set it down and click it down if it's firing and you just click it down once it's firing and this coil pack is good and you do the same to up uh, you do the same to the rest of the coil packs you just lift the wire boots off to see if there's any sparking or clicking and if it's sparking or clicking just click the wire boot down pull it off if it's clicking or, or, or uh, firing you just push it down like this well let's say after running the engine you discover a dead coil pack which is causing your misfire what you do to replace the coil pack first of all is you go to your local junkyard or local auto parts store and pick up a known good coil pack and to replace the ignition coil pack one of them you just uh, pop off the spark plug wire boots like this make sure you mark the wires before removing them and you just uh, loosen and remove the coil pack mounting bolts there's one on each side don't lose the bolts just loosen and remove them and after you do that you just lift the coil pack off and replace it with a known good coil pack from a junkyard or auto parts store this coil pack is a used coil pack I keep it in the trunk of my car for emergencies just in case one of the coil packs happens to die out I could just swap it out right away with this good one and to install the coil pack you just uh, put the coil pack on you just set it into place uh, tighten your mounting bolts install your mounting bolts and tighten your mounting bolts and then uh, put your wires back on put your wire boots back on and then you're done let's say after reinstalling your coil pack that you have the same problem again that same coil pack still won't fire which means you possibly have a faulty ignition module, a dead spot in the ignition module. Here's the ignition module. Three coils uh, plug into these terminals. One coil, one coil, two coil, three coils. And where the ignition module is located is it's located underneath these uh, coil packs. And what you do to uh, replace the ignition module is first of all is uh, you unbolt uh, the wiring harness from it here's one bolt in the center you just unbolt it and you just unplug the wiring harness from the ignition module and after you do that you uh, loosen and remove the coil uh, mounting bolts all of them don't lose them and you just lift the coil packs off and once you got 
those off, you just uh, lift up the ignition module. And uh, before you replace the ignition module with a good one, make sure that the mounting bracket is clean. You just take some uh, carb cleaner or brake cleaner on a rig and just wipe uh, the mounting bracket clean. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect as long as the surface is clean. No greasy residue or no sticky residue. And before reinstalling uh, or installing your new ignition module, uh, you should take some dielectric grease and smear it on the backing plate. Just a thin coat. And then set the module into place. Reinstall and bolt your coil packs back on. And afterwards, when that's done, you just uh, reconnect your wiring harness and, and bolt your wiring harness. And then you're done. On a final note, let's say after replacing the ignition module and the coil pack that you develop a check engine light or engine code in your instrument cluster. What you do to relieve that problem is you uh, disconnect your negative battery cable and you let uh, the car just sit for about an hour at the negative battery cable disconnected. Then that should clear your codes up. Uh, I had that problem with this car after I installed that ignition module. Um, I disconnected the battery cable and after an hour the codes were cleared. And a few days later I had a code again, but that cleared up on its own. No more codes. And I'm not a professional, I'm just giving you people some tips out there. Uh, maybe you could um, solve your own problems by uh, watching these videos. And that concludes this video. Bye.